Somewhere between the edge of being alive and feeling dead Welcome back to the channel. Today we will be talking about trails that are north of Prince George, BC. And uh, it's just the reference point for this series of videos. You will see uh, that little red rectangle, sort of that's the area that we're going to be focusing. And you'll see uh, each of the trails that we discuss, maybe some video clips, maybe some pictures. And uh, we will have links to each one of those trails. Uh, these are all accessible through the map on our website, hiking.princegeorge.tech. But this video is just hoping to give a quick summary of trails that are to the north. They look like, and just a quick summary. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so the legend for the uh, markers on the map are here. Green is easy, blue is moderate, red is hard, and purple is for accessible trails. First up is Hubble Homestead. It's about uh, a little over half an hour north of Prince George. And uh, you just turn down the road to a uh, parking lot there gravel road and you walk down uh, to the starting point. Uh, the lower part of the road is usually just for people with wheelchairs uh, and I believe the area is somewhat accessible. It's pretty flat down there and uh, beautiful views of the area there, a nice heritage site uh, and right there beside the Fraser River, beautiful views, lots of summertime activities there. You can check out all the buildings. They do have a little general store with some knickknacks that you can buy. Uh, you can snowshoe in the winter as well. This is just a really neat area for the family to check out. And uh, you can do, like I said, snowshoeing, hiking, all kinds of uh, neat things to do in this area. Definitely want to check it out. It's a well-known spot. Lots of activities throughout the summer there. You know, they might have medieval uh, dress-up rehearsals and things like that. And lots of people have weddings there. Uh, check it out. Next up is the Giscom Portage, and uh, this trail you, uh, takes you about 30 minutes north of Prince George. You can start from either end, either from Mitchell Road or uh, Barney Creek. Uh, the Barney Creek one is just at the north end there in Summit Lake, and you can uh, either head north or south, and it, it is about an 8 kilometer one way if you do the full thing. You might want to bring two vehicles for this uh, hike. Uh, it's probably best done in the winter time just because it's a lot more wet and swampy and mosquito-y in the summer. Um, but a uh, really nice uh, hike to do. You can do it at night time with headlamps like we did. You can see uh, we came up from one side at night. We came down from the other side during the day. Um, you can do part of the trail. You can go, say, up from the, from the south from Mitchell Road up to the North Fraser to the Tate Creek Bridge and turn back. It just depends on the distance that you want to go, your fitness level. It's a really nice uh, trail to check out. Next up is Teapot Mountain. It's about a 35, 40 minute drive uh, north of Prince George uh, in the community of Summit Lake. And uh, really beautiful area, very popular amongst residents of Prince George and surrounding area. Um, you can go here in the summer, you can go here in the winter, you'll see both tracks there. Uh, although in the winter you will have to walk about a one and a half kilometers as the road is not plowed usually to the trailhead. It's only usually plowed part way down the road. Anyways, uh, some beautiful uh, basalt uh, structures there and uh, it's like a volcanic hill and really neat views from the top. You can see Summit Lake to the south. You can see uh, Bear Lake towards the north. You can see Coffee Pot Mountain to the north and uh, you can look west and you really can't look east because the trees are there, but a really beautiful spot uh, with some benches up top. And uh, yeah, it's just a really classic area to go. Uh, you know, maybe easy to moderate. It's not very long, like I said, and there is a steep section. So you will definitely want to watch in uh, slippery and wet conditions because it's pretty slippery. But otherwise, definitely a must check out. Next up is Coffee Pot Mountain. This one's uh, just west of Bear Lake, a little bit north of Teapot Mountain. And uh, it's about maybe close to two kilometers uh, one way, I think. And uh, another sort of easy to moderate climb uh, and a nice hike to try out. Um, I'm not sure if it's maintained as well as Teapot and others, but uh, and it also there you'll need to follow the link for the full video and hike on this on our webpage for directions of how to get there. But 
ultimately it's a nice place to check out uh, nice views from the top and there's a lake up there and a uh, nice area next up is Livingston Springs and this is located in Crooked River Provincial Park right there south end of Bear Lake about an hour drive north of Prince George trail is uh, you know you can it all depends on how far you go but we did about a 10 kilometer loop right down to the springs and back uh, we went in the winter but of course you can go in the summer there's an old trapper's cabin down there uh, it's kind of falling apart but springs are beautiful there um, you can see from the pictures in the winter time uh, really neat area to check out uh, lots of side trails that you can check out as well being a provincial park um, you can just see on the, the tracks there there's trails that go to the south and up and down and connect up to other trails and there is Bear Lake there um, so just a lot to do in this area and uh, really nice uh, area down there for a picnic at the uh, springs and once you get to the cabins going past the cabins it's a uh, really brushed out so probably you don't want to go much further than that but uh, really nice area to check out next up is Muskeg Falls about an hour and a half north of Prince George uh, just a little northwest of Bear Lake trails about one kilometer and uh, nice falls there at the end of the trail uh, just another nice area for a picnic if you're doing waterfall chasing uh, this is definitely a nice one to check out next up is War Falls located in Carp Lake Provincial Park about a two-hour drive north of Prince George and a very short trail less than a kilometer down to the falls uh, there's a little kind of a few sections of steep decline but a beautiful large waterfalls there, a nice place for a picnic to bring the whole family. You'll really enjoy this uh, area. Next up is Erratic Ridge, uh, as well known as uh, Mount Burden. And uh, this is a very cool area to explore, to hike, to snowshoe summer and winter. Uh, there's a number of logging roads you have to head down. It's about two to two and a half hour drive north of Prince George. You go towards Bear Lake and then you head down some logging roads. Check out the full uh, page and video for this one for all the details. There is a lot of details on this one. But uh, we did about a, I don't know, 12 kilometer round trip um, in this particular uh, summer hike as well as winter. You can do that as well. Basically you can go anywhere from say seven to 14 kilometers depending on the distance you want to go there's multiple peaks there beautiful views uh, of the surrounding area most notably is mount sentinel to the sort of southeast it's a prominent peak you can see it from prince george actually and uh really gorgeous area it's you know maybe a moderate hike um depending on how far you go but uh, definitely really nice to snowshoe really nice to hike in the summer as well once you get up into the meadows it's just nice going can get pretty windy up there so be prepared for that and bring your bear spray of course just like all the trails but uh, this area is just fantastic uh, really comes down to you probably need like a 4x4 four four vehicle uh, really depending on the time of year it can be pretty muddy there's a lot of traffic usually on this road although it will depend if the pipeline is uh, still being worked on there or not but uh, definitely an absolutely fabulous uh, trail to check out you'll want to check this one Next up is Bijou Falls, and this is about, again, a two-hour drive north, right off Highway 97, just before the Pine Pass, and uh, you just pull in, there's a small park there, and just a parking area with some bathrooms, beautiful uh, waterfalls just tumbling down there, it's fenced off, but a nice area for picnics, and a uh, small trail to the south, but not really much of a trail, and uh, really nice views definitely worthwhile checking this one up if you're already heading up uh, in through the pine pass just a nice spot to pull over and check out next up is the murray ridge or murray range in the pine pass right there near azuzeta lake lodge uh, this one's a pretty steep uh, hike to go up uh, definitely don't want to do this in the winter just the summertime only and uh, over three kilometers you gain quite a bit of elevation really beautiful views uh, view of a lake up top there's some cairns pretty steep rocks up there um, but definitely a beautiful one and uh, just north of this is the uh, murray ridge pine pass hike as well uh, but anyways this one really nice uh, the lake is there and powder king is just uh, on the east side or sorry on the west side of the highway about a two-hour drive to get up here and uh, definitely worthwhile doing this one definitely a strenuous hike but uh, 
really enjoyable and quite windy up top. And the last one on our list is Mount Murray in the Pine Pass. This one, about 2 hours and 15 minutes to get to the trailhead. It's right off Highway 16. On the east side, you'll see some signs there talking about the trailhead. Uh, do be careful to kind of conceal your car. There have been some reports of uh, vandalism of vehicles because it is remote. I believe there is no cell signal out there. Anyways, uh, so a pretty steep trail. Uh, I think it's about a 10 to 12 kilometer uh, round trip to get up there. It really depends how far you go. Lots of ridge lines that you can walk. There's lake up there. There's a cairn up there and just beautiful views everywhere. It does get quite windy up there as well. So anyways, this one, uh, really nice hike to check out. And that's the last one for our series of uh, trails north of Prince George. Hope you guys are liking this series. This, of course, is not all of the trails that are north of Prince George, but these are the ones that we have visited. Anyways, uh, we will be adding more in the future, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this series. And uh, the next one should include trails within the city of Prince George. Thanks. Our mouths to lie, we set a fire beneath the moon's light. No one else to disturb us, we enjoy the night and fall asleep warm. Side by side, up at dawn, I can see your breath the morning light warms our skin as we bathe in the riverside. The water's cold and it's dangerous, but it brings me to life. So we stand to read tongues of green and